Okay, welcome to another league on Magic the Gathering Online. This time, uh, another mid-range deck, a sort of new, new contender in the format. Thought I'd give it a go today. We're looking at Gruul mid-range, um, also known as Kanza, um, from the uh, Ponza days of the past. Uh, where they've just uh, shoehorned Khan the Great Creator in, um, shore up some of the, the bad matches, I think. So, yeah, um, what can we say about this? So it is primarily, I guess, a Blood Moon deck, um, looking to shut out decks that have an aggressive mana base, greedy mana base with uh, with Blood Moon, um, as early as turn two with Utopia Sprawl and Arbor Elf. Um, and then, you know, it has lightning fast starts where you can get Things like Can't the Great Creator out on turn two, or turn two Bloodbraid Elf, or whatever. Um, it's got the Pillage to destroy land as well. You've got a couple of copies of Renin Six. Um, and then, you know, you've got the mid range elements uh, one of Tracker, a couple of Clothis, Season Pyromancers, um, and then Bone Crusher Giant. Um, yeah, it's a pretty clean list. Look at, the, you know, clean mana base. Um, you know, and then on the side, you've got the, the kind of Khan board here. Um, worth pointing out a, an interesting interaction that I found. Well, I, I was looking at a primer on Reddit that some someone had written about this deck, um, and the interesting one was these three cards, um, which is a way to beat um, Infinite Life out of um, what's it called? Infinite Life from Heliod. Uh, if you have Khan the Great Creator out and you manage to to get all of these three things versus Heliod um, they can't really they can't really beat that because um, you've got Insane Bridge so they can't attack you can't kill it um, Khan is obviously shutting off the Ballista combo Torpor Orb shuts off uh, the Skyclave Apparition to get rid of Insane Bridge and then this Elixir of Immortality which is a, a card that I hadn't seen before but pretty cool um, so you gain five life and then uh, you shuffle it and your graveyard into your library. So the idea is you, you just sort of t um, dirt or do, do nothing every turn really. Um, and then you will deck your opponent because you can shuffle Elixir of Immortality back into your, to your library so that you don't deck yourself. Okay, so that's um, a brief overview. Let's um, jump into a league. Hope everyone's doing well wherever you're watching from today. Um, please do give us a subscribe and a like if it's if the content's something you enjoy. It does mean a lot. Um, and yeah, do let me know. I haven't played any uh, where well, I haven't played any Jund um, BGX decks for a while, so that's next on the in the queue, I think. Um, but do let me know if there's anything that uh, anything that you do want to see. Uh, always happy to take suggestions. And do let me know in the comments if there are any plays you would have made different. Okay, so we have won the die roll, which is good with this deck. Um, now, this isn't doing anything till turn three. I think we on the on the play in the blind. I think we mulligan this, try and find something a bit a bit more aggressive. Um, yeah, this is a classic example. We're going to keep this. Um, we're going to bottom the lightning bolt. I think I'm just going to try and pillage my opponent out of the game. So here we want to get basic forest. Um, we might be if we draw a blood moon, might want to uh, blood moon on two, um, and we're going to make red mana with this because we're going to need double red next turn. Worth putting the forest out as well, so it can't be hit by field of ruin, which obviously destroys the enchantment as well. Uh, a lot of decks using Utopia Sprawl at the moment. Okay. So obviously this hand was a little bit weak to if my opponent just leaves up a fetch land. Um, okay, ooh, okay, so Wanderer. So we're not going to be able to pillage this turn, um, which is a, a tad annoying. But I think we go for it anyway, because we do have another pillage. Um, and, you know, it acts just as a removal spell for this spirit. I would imagine we're going to yeah see the sacrifice of the wonder but we do have another one um maybe it was right better to play our elf there but i think we i think we just need to keep spirits off the off the battlefield where we can so we'd really like to draw a land next <laughs> okay
Okay, Supreme Phantom to now. If we draw a land, we might Blood Braid Elf. Uh, actually, yeah, we're just gonna Blood Moon here. Um, uh, Blood Moon shutting off a lot of, you know, my opponents. All of the spirits have some sort of color requirement. None of them are red, so um, yeah, we're happy just to to Blood Moon them there. Uh, we draw another land, which is great. So we just get to Blood Braid Elf. And we'll cast this Clothis. Uh, not too difficult to get Clothis up to a um, to an attacker in this deck. Okay, opponent has a Founder Forest, so we're gonna... Oh, Collected Company is pretty good as well. But we're gonna pillage the forest next turn unless they find something that stops us doing so. Let's see what my opponent finds with a collector company. Obviously we don't want to see too much stuff. Um, so playing this Arbor Elf lets us attack with Clothis as well. Which is nice. Four or five indestructible attacker. Not to be a uh, Sniff that. Opponent taking their time, wonder what they've hit with uh, with Collector Company. Okay, so the opponent uh, finds Idle on Rhetoric and Spell Queller. So that's a little bit annoying. Can't cast more than one spell each turn. Um, but um, because we wanted to go Arbor Elf and Pillage this turn, really. But. Um, yeah, I think we're what we're gonna eat. Let's see this collector company. Um so do we think we should pillage or should we Arbor Elf attack with Clothis? I think I'm gonna pillage. Um each player can't yeah, I think we're just gonna pillage here. Um not much point in attacking. Play our land and we'll just pillage their forests. Just because you know we can potentially deal with, with this board, what we can't deal with is another collected company. <coughs> um, this, yeah, obviously shuts off. They might be running Noble Hierarch, which can generate mana. Um, they might be running, you know, they might have another collected company in hand. Yeah, so just pillaging there, I think is best. We're taking five, six a turn, but Clothis is gaining us life and hitting the opponent. Um, and then next turn, we're gonna be able to play Arbor Elf and attack with Clothis. Um, unfortunately, these creatures are fairly large, so it's gonna be hard to get through, but Okay, so yeah, attacking with um, attacking with uh, Spellcaller and Supreme Phantom there, but leaving the uh, the idol on back. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, play this now, and we're gonna start getting in for some damage. Happy to sacrifice my Bloodbraid Elf here um, to get in the extra damage. I'm uh, going to keep this forest in hand. Yeah, cloth is uh, really good. Oh, I guess sacrificing the Bloodbraid Elf wasn't necessarily good there, but it um, does mean we got an extra damage. Opponent's attacking for one, four, five, six. So, you yeah, know, we'd really like to find some. Um, oh, that is a. Uh, Round. Ah, Khan's a good draw. Um, so, are we gaining light? No, I think we're just going to um, just keep draining the opponent. We could have um, made a land there. I suppose we can't actually Khan and get a creature. I'm going to attack for 
one to give lethal next turn and then we'll go for the Khan she sadly can't get anything um, but yeah I think we'll just go and get what do we want to get here um, could just be the elixir here um, getting us some life my, hmm. trouble is my opponent can isn't actually dead next turn because oh yeah we're just going to get ensnaring bridge I think yeah just get ensnaring bridge here and then um <coughs> you know, Clothis can just drain my opponent to death. Mm. You know, we're, we're taking three, four, five, six here. So yeah, we can't beat them next turn. So, and that, well, mm, we can beat them if they don't attack with everything. We could take five, but then that's lethal next turn. Yeah, because my opponent attacks with Spellcaller and Eidolon. We go to six untap and then they go to one. Oh, we go to seven so yeah I think I think yeah we're, de we're definitely ahead here I keep forgetting that cloth is there uh, fuels keeps our life total nice and high um, yeah see can't see too many ways for my opponent to get out of this I guess a basic land um, here would be good for them, but they might they still might not have any. I guess base another basic forest into collector company is the best it can do. Okay. So will my opponent attack? Oh no. Okay, so they just can see they see the writing on the wall. Um, no real way to to beat what we had going on. So what are we uh, bringing in, and what are we taking out? So Renin 6 is interesting, it can kill the little ones. Um, we obviously want to keep all of the bolts in. Blood Moon is less good now, I guess, that they know what we're doing, but Pillage is interesting as well because um, it can kill um, the artifact that puts in creatures, um, Ether Vial. Right, so Gargaroth definitely comes in. Some decks, like Spirits probably just can't beat this card. Um, and obviously we like a braid and all of the flame slashes. Um, I think we probably want to keep all of the accelerants. Arbor Elf, Utopia Sprawl, Bolt is obviously great. Um, Clothis proved good there, but they are gonna try and aggro us out. I think we'll cut a Clothis. I think we'll cut a Pillage. Definitely bringing in all these. Um, all these removal spells. Um, so we need to make three more cuts. Bone Crush Giant obviously stays in. I think we'll cut the pillages. Um, yeah, let's let's go with that. We've got a lot of removal. Yeah. So yeah, this this is a uh, sort of I haven't played this deck a great deal. Um, I always said I wouldn't because uh, I hate the idea of blood casting blood braid elf and hitting utopia sprawl or arbor elf but uh, <laughs> i thought i'd give it a go um it is you know does seem like it's doing some some powerful things yeah uh, i think next on the list possibly jund i haven't played jund for a while um there's a modern uh suit modern qualifier in couple of weeks time um, two weeks is it uh, that I want to enter so at the moment I think I'm gonna stay away from black green X for that tournament although that's a slight heresy <laughs> um, I think that's gonna be probably Eldrazi Tron deck I've been um, playing with a bit recently but uh, yeah we'll uh, I'm testing the next couple of weeks and then um, yeah see how that goes okay so we see a bit of an odd one 
Um, it's got two blood moons. It does have a kill spell, and it does have some high high end stuff. If we can draw another land, we're pretty good. I think, yeah, I think we'll uh, keep this and hope to go, you know, flame slash kill something, and then turn three moon. Although my opponent will probably fetch basics or just play basics. Okay. So that's a good draw. Um, see, so I'll go and get a forest here and play Arbor Elf because that allows us to play a three mana spell on turn three. Oh, turn two, even. So it depends what my opponent has here. If they've got a Shockland, I might Blood Moon. But given what my opponent. So given my opponent's got Ether Vial and Forest here, it may be better to just season Pyromancer. The, the Blood Moon's away. Okay, there's a Wanderer. My opponent only got three cards in hand. Another Flame Slash is nice. So I think we're just going to get rid of these Blood Moons given my opponent's got. We we need to draw land, so um, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, we'll definitely get rid of one. Yeah, we we're just getting rid of both blood moons here. Um, <coughs> maybe that's wrong, but my opponent's got. Well, forest isn't the best land for them. Um, but, um, you know, they've only got two cards in hand. They're going to put most of those in with Ether Vial anyway. Um, got three cards. And we're pretty stocked. So, next turn, if my opponent doesn't kill Arbor Elf, we can go. Tracker Flame Slash. Okay, Self of Spirit. Okay, that makes them indestructible. So I think we're going to go for killing Selfless Spirit. Um. So the card I'm afraid of is Spell Queller. So I think we're just going to flame slash this first. Worth um, noting that um, if they Spell Queller us here, get rid of this. Then we try and flame slash the spell queller. They'll probably make this spell queller indestructible. Okay, so they just make that create other creatures indestructible, which is fine. Okay, so now, hmm, do we just do we play the trap? Obviously, we're a little bit punished for our line here. We could just attack with everything. Yeah, I don't mind doing that actually. Although, is it better to hold? Yeah, I think. Hmm. What's my opponent likely to have? Oh, I think we. I think we're going to go for the tracker here. Um. Just play the forest. Just drawing cards with their things. Yeah, this may have been an error. We may have wanted to just um, to play that first, but yeah, it's, I didn't really want to. Get, I guess if we get it quelled there, if 
possibly should have waited till next turn but we do have the ability to draw more things we've got another removal spell in hand okay opponent got all the basics so getting rid of blood moon seems like a, it was a good choice we're going to want to be a bit careful about um, a life total here another season pyromancer is nice um, so how much mana have we got? we've essentially got 5 mana if we season pyromancer now hmm, we don't really want to get rid of both these lands Or we could clue. I think we're shocking in. I think we're going to. Hmm. Should we draw a card here? Yeah, I think so. Let's see what we draw, because then we can pyromancer it away potentially. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, do we do this pre-combat? No, I think we're going to attack first. If they want to get a block in. We're attacking for what, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so opponent has path to exile. We'll go and grab another forest. Um, just untap a land here, and then we'll just play season pyromancer. Get rid of two lands, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. So there's some good draws to find. Okay, opponent doesn't have anything else scary. Bolt's really nice because it's instant speed. There's a lot of trouble with flame slash. We're attacking for two, three, four, five, six next turn. Which is lethal with this lightning bolt. See what my opponent goes for. Got two cards in hand. Yeah, not seen spirits for a while. Uh, More than haunts a little bit annoying. Ooh, to fairy. Wasn't necessarily expecting that, but I mean they can bounce a token. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, draws them a card, so we can't now instant speed. Opponent's got th three a uh, three. Um, okay, they are attacking. So we've got two, four, five, six. We've still got six damage. So I'd imagine we're going to see a flashed in blocker here. But I think we're just attacking with everything. We don't care about killing the Teferi. We're attacking first so that if my opponent wants to spell Queller. Um, Okay, so hmm, this is interesting now. So the, the, if my opponent has exactly spell queller, we can't we can't get around it with flame slash either. So I'm just trying to kind of bait that out. Um, is it worth just going for the bolt here? Maybe we should have killed the Teferi. No, because then they wouldn't be at three. So if we, yeah, if we bolt and they have spell queller, that's two. So spell quellers are two. If they have drog skull captain, that's fine. Spell queller is the only one we care about. So let's say they. Let's say they found 
Quella. They put it in XLR Bolt. So they've got three power on the field. They untap. They play another Lord. They get three. I think we go for it here actually because they're going to flash it in anyway. So yeah, I think we go for it. If we get spell quality, they haven't had it um, all this time. Okay, yeah, we just get there. So I think it's best to make them have it there. It's often better to make them have it in modern. But yeah, so the only way they really win there is um, kind of spell queller into Lord, um, which I think just gets there. Um, you know, they can make a, a creature with Moorland Horn and then this becomes massive and then they can attack. Um, but they do that anyway, regardless if we bolt or not. Um, so yeah, making them have it there was, was correct, I think. Okay, see you for round number two. Okay, we are on the play. Again, this isn't doing nothing until turn three, so I think we're gonna mulligan. Um, I think we can do better on the play. Hmm. See a bit of a worse hand, unfortunately. I think we have to mulligan again. Yeah, we're really gonna be looking for something unfair now. Um, yeah, this is unfair, this is turn so we're going to keep. So what's the plan? So we go turn one Arbor Elf, turn two Uspopius Brawl, and then we can make four mana. So we can either Bloodbraid Elf or Khan. So we're going to get rid of a land. <laughs> and then I think Bloodbraid Elf here. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, let's uh, see see how this goes. Obviously, we're a little weak to um, a kill spell on our Arbor Elf. Uh, we do get the Arbor Elf killed. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so we're going to want a land next turn, really. Okay, opponent also on an Arbor Elf deck. Ah, uh, this looks like the mirror. <laughs> um, which, yeah, don't know. Uh, okay, so we hit a land, which is nice. So we could Khan, or we could Bloodbraid Elf. I think we're gonna Bloodbraid Elf here. Mm, yeah, that's what I don't like. It. Uh, that's what I don't like about Bloodbraid Elf. Like in um, this deck specifically, because you can just hit these rubbish Yarbor Elves and Utopia Spores. I suppose it does ramp us, um, give us enough mana to play Khan next turn. Um, we could be getting pillaged here, but we we'll still have enough. No, we wouldn't have enough mana. This mountain is confusing. I keep thinking it's a swamp. Village would be rough. Okay, Blood Moon. Yeah, we um, we don't care at all about that. <coughs> so we're just going to play a card out. Um, so we can go. We're going to tap this for mana. Play Khan. Tick down. Uh, we'll go and get. I think we're just getting the coating here. Yeah, we'll get the coating. We'll untap this land. Play the coating. And then... I think we're not attacking here. Because I don't, like... We're already fairly weak to... Um, like a lightning bolt on Khan. Maybe we should have just got something like a worm coil engine here. P 
pillage is pretty rough. Yeah, uh, they have their own Khan. Okay, <clears throat> but they can't attack it. So we could kill the Khan here by animating our liquid metal coating and attacking the Khan for enough damage and then we'll play the Pyromancer. So this is weak if my opponent has Bolt, but if they had Bolt they would have used it. So yeah, we're just going to kill my opponent's Khan here. And then we'll go ahead and draw to keep up this. Um, so do we want to just stomp now? I don't think so. I'm happy to hold up stomp. Obviously my opponent could stomp our liquid metal coating now, but uh, Utopia Sprawl, so they'll have four f hmm, have they played a land yet? So we could <laughs> No, I think we're happy enough here. This gives my opponent quite a lot of mana I suppose, but Oh the Blood Braid Elf. So you hear Season Pyromancer, which is um Obviously a very good draw for our opponent. Yeah, maybe we should have killed this Arbor Elf. <coughs> really depends on what my opponent's drawn from that season pyromancer. If they just attack with Blood Braid Elf, I think Yeah, I think whatever ha oh right, they're attacking with that as well. Okay. So now we get to do this and then stomp the blood braid elf. Bone Crusher Giant's so good. <laughs> okay, so then I think next turn, yeah, we're just going to tick down and get a worm coil engine, which my opponent probably won't be able to deal with. Yeah, in fact, my opponent just concedes. Yeah, so we go down, we go, um, we're going to draw, oh, we're going to draw a lightning bolt. But, but yeah, we'll have, what's this like? That's four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we go and get Worm Coil Engine, bolt my opponent's pirates. Yeah, and my opponent can't really beat that. So, or, or alternatively, we have Liquid Metal Coating, so we can just start eating, eating my opponent's lands. Right, so the mirror. Let's uh, have a think about what we want to do here. Uh, we're obviously gonna we're obviously not going to want any of these blood moons so I think we want all of the uh, removal definitely a braid to deal with the opponent opponents cons um, and then we're gonna want gargory off I think um, and we'll get rid of one of these accelerants I think Thing, I think on the pull on the draw, get rid of a Utopia Sprawl. Let's go see how this goes. Um, I think this hand's fine. Um, so we can kill an opponent's turn one creature if they have it which we will. Uh, it's got then some some powerful three and four mana cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this. Um, and then next turn we'll Utopia Sprawl. <coughs> So I'll just play a forest here and then Utopia Sprawl. Um, said forest to make red mana. And now we get to hold up um, Bolt or a 
braid if our opponent goes calm we're going to bolt it oh it's a blood braid elf they hit arbor elf sure okay so i think here um yeah we're just gonna i think while bolt can hit calm Um, while Bolt can hit Khan, I think a braid to hit whatever Khan gets is probably better. And we've got Blood Braid to attack a Khan as well. So we're going to track her here and then just go ahead and make two clues. Not every list runs tracker. Um, a lot it, it seems to be the four uh bone crusher or two bone crusher two tracker i went with three and one um but obviously tracker proving its worth here i guess um clues are a little bit awkward with um kind the great creator but right so we got five mana so we could Bone Crusher, play Bone Crusher, or we could just, that's a Blood Braid Elf, I think. Let's see what we hit. Okay, so, hmm. I think given how, you know, this is just a pretty much a flat race now, um, and given the position we're in, I think we're just going to um, cast Bone Crusher Giant here. Get a four power attacker on the field. Okay, opponent has Brennan six. <coughs> and oh, they have got Cloth this. No attacks from Clothis. Okay, so we're going to want to kill some stuff here. So we'll Bone Crusher kill the Arbor Elf. And then I think we, we might as well crack a clue. Let's see what we draw. Arbor Elf's not the best. So now I think we will, yeah, I think we're going to braid the bone crusher. We do take some damage from it, which is unfortunate. And it could have a removal spell or something here. No. Okay, and then, um, I think we're going to kill the Renan 6. Just make it more unlikely that my opponent can get this Clothis active. Um, it's, we won't have to worry about the ultimate. Um, but we are in a bit of trouble here. It doesn't look like my opponent's finding much though. Um, but nor are we, so we'll play the land and crack. Crack a clue. Yeah, that's a good draw. So, do we want to play the Arbor Elf? I think we. No, I think we're gonna we're gonna. Um, Pyramids are here. We don't need the mana. Um, yeah, we don't need the mana, and it makes the one one anyway. If we discard this. Okay, so those are pretty good hits. <clears throat> so my opponent is dead next turn. They're dead on board next turn. They are fetching. So we are at six. So if my opponent finds something like Bolt, Blood Braid Bolt doesn't do it. Um, yeah, I've only got two cards in hand. 
and they concede. Okay, so we get there in the mirror. Um, Tyler's tracker proving really good there, obviously. Um, but yeah, good to, to get another win, and we'll see you for round number three. Okay, round number three, we're on the play. I think we've won most of the play, the die rolls here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're definitely going to keep this. This is, um, I think, similar to our judges, you know, we're, we're trying to keep unfair things. Um, and turn two at Blood Moon definitely counts as unfair. Um, on the play especially. So we'll go and grab a forest and Utopia Sprawl it. Make red mana. Utopia Sprawl is seeing a lot of play. I think it's the one of them in, including included in Heliod. Okay, yeah, this is just, um, I, I think this, I think Tron is obviously a pretty good matchup for for this deck. I think. You know, we just get to pillage here. Shuts them off. Um, yeah, and just concedes. Um, turn two pillage. So <clears throat> against Tron, um, I don't know that we'll want to change too much. Um, so probably want the Abrade in and Pithing Needle in. Um, what are we not, we're not going to really want Cloth this, so let's do something like that, I think. Okay, so this is a um, bit of a weird one. It's got all of the Tron hate, but I think we're going to mulligan because we really want to be doing one of these cards on turn two. So mulligan to, to try and find that. Um, this is potential if we find any land, so I think we're going to keep it. Um, but I'm one of these bone crushers. Yeah, so we really want to see a land off the top. Um, any land, we don't really mind what. Okay, we miss the first one. Uh, so we're going to get stomping ground. So yeah, we really, really want to see a land off the top. This opponent is going to have turn three Tron. So yeah, we any land off the top here. Hmm, okay. So I think we have to play Renan 6 now. That's pretty irritating. Um, and are we going to play another Arbor Elf? I think so here. Going to get a forest. <clears throat> obviously we don't really want to see something like worm coil engine Khan liberate is obviously awful um, that's Tron is Khan liberated let's see what my opponent does yeah exiles a land we are going to get to go and get another one so let's I can't grab the wooded foothills, play the wooded foothills. So we could pillage here, but I think we're going to want to kill that Khan. So we have got four mana, so yeah, here we're just going to go and get another stomping ground. And then we're going to blood braid elf and hope to hit. Hope to hit. Um, a blood moon or a pillage bolt. Um, doesn't really matter here. We're going to bolt the Khan. Yeah, obviously we would have loved a uh, pillage or a blood moon effect there. Okay, star from my opponent. 
Regent stirring, so they've got six mana left. If they just hit a land or something. Yeah, Ballista's pretty good. So they can Ballista for three. But then we'll kill the Ballista. I wouldn't be surprised to see them ping ping now. Depends what we find here. Okay, we find a. Okay, so yeah, all we're doing here is returning this. Um, <clears throat> I think I don't think we need another red source. Uh, another. I think we can just get basic mountain here, and then just blood moon. Then I think I'm okay attacking. If my opponent wants to attack Ren and Six for loads, then that's fine. And we do need to get the clock going. Let's see if we can. Um, okay, opponent's got five mana, so something like Oblivion Stone is what they're probably after. We've got another stirrings. If it is Oblivion Stone, we do have the pillage as now. The fact that this destroys artifact or land is obviously very strong. Depends really what we draw. Or, uh, we're gonna, provided they don't kill the Renan Six, we're gonna have at least four mana. There's a map, so they can have six mana next turn. They can go and get a basic forest with that. Okay. Opponent kills, well, attacks a uh, Brennan six. Okay, so we find a pillage. So yeah, we're just going to go and get another land. Play the land. And now I think we're going to pillage because. My opponent is getting scarily close to um, Worm Coil Engine Mana. And with our current situation, we probably cannot beat a Worm Coil Engine. Opponent's at 11, so do go and get a basic forest. So what my yeah, I suppose Bloodmoon does shut off that. Okay, so opponent can keep going and getting lands here. Four red mana. Oh, putting a counter on there, sure. Okay, we see an attack here. Although Renin Six isn't really doing a lot for us anymore. Okay, so land is good. Um. So yeah, we're going to attack here. Then hmm, we could season Pyromancer. I think we're just going to pillage again. Because yeah, Worm Coil Engine is just lights out. And then we'll Bone Crusher stomp the Ballista, which will probably kill our Blood Braid Elf. Maybe we should have pinged with Renan Six first. Oh, that doesn't resolve now, but. And then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and ping my opponent. Mm, that's a Khan. Okay, so they have so they got five mana. Hmm. Yeah, that's not, that's obviously not ideal. We draw another pillage. Um, 
So we could uh, pillage is, I guess, pretty good. Um, let's ping the map to death. I think we want to save the pillage here. ensnaring bridge and this makes it so that if my opponent if all my opponent does next turn is play is tick down and get ensnaring bridge I think we're okay if they find a land tick down and get worm coil engine mm, yeah now we're in trouble Oh, batter skull. Oh, yeah. We okay. We can beat that. Yeah, we just win. Bit surprised. Maybe my opponent not playing batter skull in the main. Uh, not playing worm call engine in the side even. Okay, so we can just pillage the batter skull. Uh, we'll attack first, and then. Just in case, well, my opponent can't actually dismember, so. And then we'll just ping with Renan 6 for the last point of damage. Okay. 3 0. Um, I mean, Tron seems like it's going to be a, a good matchup for this deck. But we are 3 0. See you again for round number 4. Okay, round number 4. Uh, these matches seem to be going uh, pretty quickly. Um, we're going to keep this, I think think it's um we're on the uh the draw this time um i think we're gonna keep this okay it's tron again um okay so we'll arbor elf so we really want to find pillage um blood moon pillage blood moon Hmm, yeah. Pillage blood pillage or blood moon essentially. Um No, we don't find that. So I think then do this. Okay, go and grab a mountain. I think what we're gonna do is place season pyromancer here. And search for a, uh, a that kind of spell. So we don't need another elf, and we'll get rid of a land. Keep a fetch land for tireless tracker. Opponent is going to have Tron next turn. Looks like I haven't got a payoff yet. Potentially. Okay, so I've got five mana. Yeah, Ugin, so <laughs> we're going to need to um, uh, get rid of our elf as well. So now we need to top deck. Yeah, we need to top deck Blood Moon or Pillage. Yeah, Blood Moon or Pillage is what we need. Let's see it. No. So Ugin is not ideal. Uh, so Ugin comes down with seven. So he's going to have to go to four. So I think here, just attack. I guess we'd have to make who can actually come down I can't see my opponent not casting Ugin um, if it's Ulamog then yeah we, we we'll probably just concede yep, they did get the tower Can 
shouldn't be Ugin, just about. They might bolt, to be fair, that would be, yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, do we care about Ugin? Or do we just, we put them to 11, we attack for four. I should put them to seven. I think we're actually gonna go face here. Yeah, we're probably not ever we might need to get the Ugin off of um, ultimate range at some point. Khan. So my opponent can't um, can't minus Ugin to get Khan. But I think. Yeah, I think we're just gonna blood braid here. Well, that's a bolt. I think we're just bolting my opponent here. Um. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're just going for my opponent. And then hoping to draw. We've got lightning bolt as a draw. We've got um, we've got lightning bolt as a draw because of red and six. We've got uh, what else have we got? Yeah, lightning bolt as a draw. We've got blood braid elf potentially. Okay, opponent goes against blast zone. Oh, right, okay, we just lose. <laughs> uh, if we get a land, we can potentially hold on. Pillage. Because we could have Khan for um, Pithing Needle. As it is, we do lose this one. Pillage coming in uh, pretty pretty much too late there. So we're going to do the exact same as we did last time, get rid of these clothuses, bring in a braid, and uh, do you want pithy needle instead of leaving it in for Khan? I think so. I think that's fine. Uh, let's do it. So yeah, we're going to mulligan fairly aggressively for turn to uh, land destruction or land or blood moon, yeah. Or Khan. Khan could be pretty good. Uh, we would like to play first. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So yeah, we're going to lead on you. Hmm. I think we're going to lead on Utopia Sprawl here. Because if my opponent dismem has Dismember in, which they usually do. Um, you know, we need to guarantee our turn, turn two pillage. Or turn two blood moon, um, that's, that's pretty good as well. Um, okay, so are we blood mooning or are we pillaging? I think I'm going to pillage here though. Are we pillaging? Yeah, it just why? Yeah, we're gonna pillage. Um, go grab. Do you need more forest? No, I'm just gonna grab a shock here. Just take my opponent off. A land. Next time we're gonna have four mana. Power plant. Okay, so yeah, we'll shock this in. Play a blood moon. Hopefully, this 
but they're going to be quick enough. Putin has a forest. Um, yeah, Khan the Great Crate is pretty good. <laughs> um, oh, need to be careful. So tap all of my stuff. I will untap this one. Play the Khan. Oh yeah, we can just go and get liquid metal coating now. Liquid metal coating. Play the coating. And then pass the turn, and then turn off the forest. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, obviously done pretty well here. We had a pretty good draw against Tron. Okay, we are on the draw for game number three. Um, okay, so we have to mulligan this, sadly. Um, it has the this, but no payoff is the trouble. So we'd have to draw... We'd have to draw Blood Moon or Pillage. And we saw how that went game one. I think we're going to mulligan. Ah, this isn't good. I'm going to keep this, but it's not good. So we're going to keep bin red and six, we'll bin windswept teeth, and we'll bin another windswept teeth, and hope to find pillage or blood moon off the top. Okay, that's a one miss. Maybe we show Mulligan again. I don't really know how far you should be going down. Um, I, I don't think we can just keep going. You know, you, you need three cards in hand, well, yeah, and lands. I, I think if you Mulligan to three, that's not, you can't, we probably can't do it. Pretty, uh, pretty annoying here. But we do have the, uh, we've got eight, eight cards that we'd like to see off the top of our deck out of 55. I mean, that's not many, but um, but yeah, what's that, like a 15% chance or something? Unless obviously we get dismembered, or spatial contortioned, or ballistered. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, Khan the Great Creator. So now we need to find a land, really. My opponent just has Natural Tron. That's not great. So when scrying, okay, so they've got Tron. So now we do have. Well, Pillage isn't really an out now. It has to be Blood Moon. Ancient Stirrings. Oh, Worm Coil Engine. So, yeah, now we are... Yeah, our, I think our only out is Blood Moon. Yeah, that's no good. So how do we get out of this? So I'm just gonna slam worm coil engine next turn. Or oh, they're just gonna slam Ugin. Um now we find pillage, but it's way too late. Yeah, sadly we lose to Tron there. I think that's usually a really good matchup. Um but they do get there. Um yeah, 
uh, that's uh, obviously a little bit annoying, but can't be helped. That's how it goes in uh, Magic. See you again for round number five. Okay, back with round number five, going for the four and one. Uh, we've won the die roll, which is good, especially with this deck. Um, I think we're going to mulligan this, uh, looking for something a bit more, a bit more unfair here. Then we're going to mulligan again. Double basic forests with these hand of red cards is, is unlikely to be great. Hmm. We'll keep this and hope to hit another land off the top. I think. Uh, we'll get rid of one bone crusher and hmm, maybe a tracker for now. Yeah, mulling to five here is not the best. Opponents kept seven. Uh, yeah, so we're going to want to go and get. Stomping ground. Play out my my elf. Ugh, lava dart. That's not good. Mm, we find another one, but no land is not good. Uh, opponent has the opportunity obviously to flash back Lava Dart, but that just does our pillage job for us, I guess. So this is Prowess. Oh, another Lava Dart. Okay, so we do find a land. My opponent can sacrifice one Thing. I think we have to go for it here. Opponent can sacrifice a land for Lava Dart to save it, but it gets rid of a Lava Dart, it gets rid of a land. I think we're okay with that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Opponent considering quite hard. Okay, they do decide to Lava Dart to save the Soul Scar Mage. Maybe they haven't got another land. They do have another land. If this is something that metamorphose into. Yeah, metamorphose into. Stormwing, we're in trouble. Okay, so it's a Sprite Dragon. Maybe we should have saved the Bone Crusher. Although they can always do it, yeah. Land. Yeah, we don't really want to see a, um, a four drop with when we're sitting here with no land that wins. Not sure what this matchup's likely to be like. Can't see it being amazing if I'm honest. <clears throat> um, I think we're just going to call this one. Um, I don't think we're going to discern much more information, and yeah, we're um, we just kind of uh, got screwed on lands. Utopia sprawl there, so yeah. So let's see what we can do. So ideally, I think we want to get rid of all these pillages. Definitely want to get rid of the blood moons. Um, and then we're going to want all of the kill spells. Um, and the Gargaroth and the Abrade. But we've still got three, three things to, to bring in, which isn't ideal. Deal. Um, it's tempting to bring in the elixir, but I think we're going to want to grab that of Khan. We'll fill up with relics and maybe keep one pillage in. Okay, so on the play here for 
a second game. Um, yeah, this is fine. Um, yeah, we, we're just going to try and survive as long as possible here, I think. Clothis is obviously really good. <coughs> so yeah, I think um, we're going to go and get basic mountain here. We've got enough forest. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to uh, use our mana efficiently here. Hmm. I guess my opponent could have something like a mutagenic growth. But I don't think we're going to play around that there. Okay, so we've got these blood braid elves, which are going to be good if we can find uh, another land. I think it's a slam cloth this next turn. We've got a bone crusher to remove a creature here. I don't think we're going to use it though. Okay, so we do find another land. Yeah, with a slam cloth this. Start gaining us life. Not sure what opponent's got in hand. Might be trying to hold up spell pierce, I suppose. Or something. What's the serum vision? So that was their draw for turn. Okay, so this is gonna be storm entity now. Which is tad unfortunate. But at least it's turn three. Okay, so we would like to draw bolt or flame slash ideally. Okay, we just find a land. Uh, so we're going to start exiling my opponent's spells in case they run something like Bedlam Reveler. All the basic forests. Okay, so we hit. Bolt of Flame Slash. Oh, another Clothis. Um, possibly the worst draw. Um, we're going to cast it. because then it gets it out of our deck. Um, yeah, it gets it out of our deck, um, gives us another spell to exile with, with the Clothis we do have. Imagine we're going to take quite a lot of damage here from this storm wing. Okay, they bolt the blood braid elf, which is interesting. Could be another storm wing here, which would be bad. Yeah, it is another storm wing. Is there turn four? Doesn't look like they got another land. So yeah, we want to blood braid into something, something pretty good here. Um, yeah, like a bolt, a flame slash, season pyromancer would be, would be good. Um, we could make a land, a mana, but don't think that does much for us. Um, so there's blood braid here. Pillage. Okay, so that's our one of pillage that we kept in, which isn't. Yeah, we <laughs> haven't hit very well from this blood braid el these blood braid elves. Um, unfortunately. Although my opponent is kind of short on mana, so. Um, You know, if it's another storm we're on top and they're trying to go one drop into two. Okay, so we're going to try and uh, kill the soul scar, I th 
think we're going to have to be a bit careful though with how we um, do this. So it might be that we want to attack. That's a good draw. Um, so this, I think we're just going to gain some life now. We just want to keep gaining life. I mean, we could have exiled a land. Um, okay. So yeah, do we attack? I think so. I think we're attacking here. Maybe this is bad. Okay, opponent goes for the block. They have like a bolt. Lava dart. So, hmm, we could kill the soul scar mage right now. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that line actually. Oh, although my opponent is. Okay, so they'll have to sacrifice a land if they want to kill our blood braid here. Hmm. We're at 14. Yeah, maybe that was. Maybe this, this could well be incorrect because. You know, we're taking six damage. Um, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we are taking nine damage here. Yeah, I think it's probable that we should have played the Gargaroth there. And we probably shouldn't have attacked. Um, That's a little odd. I'm a little surprised my opponent's done that. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to fetch here because we don't want to. So we'll get rid of their soul scar mage, gain some life. Um, do we attack? Is the question. I think so. We've got blocker back. Oh, could this have been lethal? Probably not. Just thinking if we could have played Gargaroth and the elf. Let's play the Gargaroth. Don't think it's worth playing. Okay, my opponent just concedes to the Gargaroth. Yeah, I'm, I've, some of the lists I've, I've seen have had two of these in the board. Um, I think that's probably the way to go. Okay, let's uh, run it back and yeah, see how we get on. Yeah, I've seen a range of things in the board. Some people don't play Elixir of Immortality. Some people don't play. Some play more than one Gargaroth. Um, we're going to keep this, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, some people play Weather the Storm, which will obviously be great in this matchup. Um, so we've got, yeah, we've got extra mana. Depends what my opponent does. I think, yeah, I, I definitely think I am flame slashing if they play a turn one creature. Okay, my opponent has Mulligan to five. Although we may want to save Flame Slash for a Stormwing Entity. Okay, so let's Utopia Sprawl this. <coughs> and if my opponent goes something like Manamorphose into. Oh, so we're going to choose red for that. If my opponent misses a land, then we'll pillage, but I can't see that being a thing necessarily. So yeah. 
Okay, opponent's got a land. Sprite Dragon. Okay, so here we could pillage the blue source. But I think instead. Um, I don't think I want to shock actually. I think I'm just going to flame slash this. Although, oh, it's so. Yeah, I think that's right. Trouble is, if my opponent goes land, one drop, storm wing. If my opponent doesn't play a land here, but I was worried about my opponent potentially. Um, oh, if this is storm wing, we're in so much trouble. Yeah, that's not good. Um, okay. So yeah, maybe we should have done that. But they would have been able to do that anyway, eventually with the Serum Visions, I would imagine. So now I think we're gonna go. It's either Tracker. Okay, Bone Crusher. No, I think we're gonna. Well, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, we're we're gonna Blood Braid here. Um, it's while they're kind of tapped out, and if we hit a bolt or a flame slash, um, we're in pretty pretty good shape. If they, yeah. Oh, we hit Bone Crusher Giant. I think I'm just gonna again. I'm just gonna cast the Bone Crusher Giant here, and then we'll just try and race. My opponent has only got two cards in hand. We've now got seven power on the field. Uh, we got four mana, so if we find another land as well, we can potentially Bone Crusher, Stomp, and play another Bone Crusher. Okay, so bolting the Bone Crusher, which is fine. Oh, another Stormwing, though, is pretty rough. So now, yeah, we just want to see Blood Braid Elves, really. Uh, Khan isn't too bad. Opponent goes to one top, one bottom. Attack us for four. So we find we find a land, so we can do some things here. So we'll attack first, obviously. Okay. Yeah, this isn't ideal. So we're gonna play tracker. And then we are going to fetch here. Um, three, six. Hmm. I don't think we're going to fetch yet. Um, I just don't think we're going to have enough mana. So my opponent is at ten. They've got one card in hand. One point of life could make the difference here. Doing Manamorphose is rough, so we're taking eight currently. So we can potentially this become yeah we can potentially kill my opponent next turn if let's just say they've got two lands in hand and attack with both, we probably win because we can go. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. And attacks with both. Okay, so now we need to f decide what we want to do. Okay, opponent's last card is a lava. Oh, lava dart. Okay. 
so hmm let, right let's think about this because we need to decide now so we're taking we, this puts us to 13 so we can't actually fetch now because my opponent can just kill us so oh is this just, are we just dead actually are we just dead to this because two they can do it again yeah we're just dead to this oh that's so gross oh that's so gross yeah exact exactly lethal oh, that's so grim goddamn prowess oh yeah because that puts us to 12 and then we die yeah that was really rough maybe in those early turns we should have should have dealt with the yeah oh could we no we couldn't have relict no we couldn't have relict uh, in response so yeah they, my opponent gets there with the double storming entity there hmm that's um that's pretty rough yeah okay well um no matter we still get we get the three two um, deck felt pretty sweet um, uh, yeah I think th from what I've been researching about the deck um, Tron is a great matchup but yeah the prowess variants aren't um, would be nice to see what it's like against Heliod I guess um, but def yeah, definitely a, a very powerful deck this so um, thank you for watching please do subscribe if it's something you enjoy um, I'm sort of wondering what uh, deck to play next so give me a, a shout if you've got any suggestions or requests and we'll see you again for some more mid-range magic cheers <laughs>